Good morning, Lakers. I'm Tori White. And I'm Mitchell Pasador. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, and we have a lot going on this week. That's right. Today, here at LOHS, the TRL Orchestra Contest will be held. Come support your Laker musicians. And now we'll go to Kyra and Tyler for sports. Hey, Lakers. I'm Kyra. And I'm Tyler. And welcome back to the sports section of Lake News. As winter sports come to an end, there are many different achievements that we would like to congratulate. First, we would like to give a big congratulations to the boys basketball team for finishing off an amazing season and getting third in state. We would also like to congratulate all the skiers and snowboarders who recently competed in state as well. Congratulations to the women's ski team for getting third in state. And we would also like to give a huge congratulations to the Laker dance team for winning their third consecutive state title. And now we're going to go talk to some of the senior lady dancers about their season. Let's see if we can shimmy on over to the dance room. Well, I know we're going to waltz right over and ask a few questions. Well, hello. Now we're here with a couple of the Laker dancers, uh, Bailey Bass and Kayla Todd, who have both been on each of the three championship teams. Now we're going to ask them a few questions. So what do you guys do to prepare for your performance at state? Well, in the morning we go to the Village Inn for breakfast, and then we come back and listen to pump-up music all day while we do our hair and our makeup. And then we, the last hour or so, we sit in a circle and hold hands and listen to inches. And then after that, we listen to our state music and get ready to kill it on the floor. So out of the past three championships, which one stands out the most and why? Oh gosh, that's a hard one. I, I have to say this year, because knowing that you've won three championships is just such an amazing feeling and it's such a huge accomplishment that most people can't say they've done that and it really shows like how well our team has worked together and our program has grown over the last three years. Bailey, would you agree? Yes. So how will you implement dance into your life in the future? We both kind of have this joke that we're going to come back and coach LO when we're done with college, but I think really just wherever we are, dance will be a part of our lives and we'll take some studio classes and who knows, maybe coach in the future if the opportunity arises. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on the great season. Back to you, Mitchell, and Tori. Thanks, guys. And this coming Friday, March 22nd, we will have no school due to a furlough day. And this Friday marks the first day of spring break. That's right, and spring break concludes March 31st. Mitchell, are you going anywhere for spring break? Well, Tori, I'm actually going to Palm Springs this year. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't heard of anyone that's going there. Well, yeah, you know, it's kind of exclusive. Okay, and um, now we'll go to Kayla and Darby for Arts and Entertainment. Hey Lakers, this is Darby Hennessy and Kayla Todd with your A&E section of Lake News. This afternoon, the orchestra is heading to their TRL competition. We're here with Jacob Cho to ask him a couple questions about it. So Jacob, how did you prepare for this competition? So I personally prepared by looking at the music and practicing it on my own. But as a group, we prepared by every other day we have rehearsal during class. Uh, we would do sectionals, we would play with each other in our individual sections, and then we would play all together. So. How do you feel going into the competition? Uh, somewhere in between confident and really confident. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about um, this particular competition. Uh, yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, that's all for today, Lakers. See you next time. Back to you, Mitchell and Tori. Thanks, girls. The week after spring break, that Thursday, April 4th, marks the end of third quarter. And the following Friday, April 5th, will be a great prep day, meaning we have no school. And that Saturday, April 6th, Scholars Alliance will be held here at LO. And Community Work Day will be on April 19th. Let's work together to show our community that we care. Sign-ups will be available after spring break, and we encourage everyone to participate. And that's all for this week, Lakers. For more on the news and happenings around the school, go to www.lohslakeviews.com. See you next time.